Big bomb, it happened just before the game against Aston Villa, it's urgent and last minute news, before we go into all the details, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe and leave a like, that way you'll always be at the forefront receiving the main news from Arsenal Football Club, thank you. Mikel Arteta responded to the latest team news, including Gabriel Magalhaes, ahead of Arsenal's clash with Aston Villa at the Emirates Stadium. Arteta addressed the media before Arsenal's game against Aston Villa at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday afternoon. This weekend marks Arsenal's final match before facing Manchester City and Liverpool. It's an opportunity for their rivals to apply pressure on the Gunners following the postponement of the Villa match due to Unai Emery's team's involvement in the UEFA Europa Conference League. Arteta faces the challenging task of managing rotations ahead of their trip to Germany. Arsenal takes on Bayern Munich after a 2-2 draw at the Emirates Stadium left the tie in a difficult situation. There were rumours circulating before the press conference that Gabriel Magalhaes had missed training. When asked specifically about Gabriel, Arteta said, we have one more day to prepare for the game, and we'll see if everyone is available. Asked about any aftermath from the Bayern game, he added, we have a few, but I hope with another day we'll be fine. Regarding Jurian Timber, he said, still, he has a few steps to take. He needs to play at least one match with the 23. We will have a home game as well. He's done everything in training, now it's about getting him properly fit. Arsenal faces Aston Villa at the Emirates Stadium at 4.30pm UK time. We'll be covering the match on the Football.London Live blog, available on the website four hours before kickoff, with all the build-up and updates from North London. Liverpool's weaknesses exposed in Arsenal's title push after Atlanta reveals Klopp's plan. Arsenal is hoping that teams have taken notice of Atlanta after the Serie A side unveiled Liverpool's weaknesses and provided a blueprint for title contenders. Arsenal came under scrutiny following a 2-2 draw with Bayern Munich, with much of it originating from the northwest, as accusations of inexperience reached North London. However, it was indeed Liverpool that seemed out of sorts, succumbing to a three-goal defeat at Anfield against Atlanta. It was a game that neutrals would have loved for its chances and high-octane action, but for tacticians who watched it, it provided a good insight into the Reds' weaknesses and perhaps a plan on how opposing sides could try to exploit them as the title race reaches its conclusion. Arsenal hopes that there will be more slips from Liverpool in their remaining games following the draw with Manchester United. Atlanta's second goal, in particular, highlighted a peculiar scenario where John Lucas Gamaka suddenly found himself with ample space as the centre-backs failed to track the run from the right winger. A simple finish, albeit first time, from the Italian was enough to secure the second goal. Arsenal faced much criticism for their performance against Manchester City, with claims that clashes between Liverpool and Pep Guardiola's team are much more entertaining and that the Gunners simply look to hold on. However, Klopp's record against Guardiola at the Etihad Stadium in the league is dreadful, he has never defeated the Spanish rival. Arteta helped end a streak of 57 games in which City managed to score in every previous home game, and his team created the best chances of the day and could have even won. Liverpool sometimes appears quite one-dimensional. However, that's a world-class plan when they attack with the quality they possess, but if it doesn't work, it leaves them defensively vulnerable and lacking in attack. It's no surprise that the Reds are in the middle of the league table in shot conversion. Meanwhile, Arsenal ranks among the top three, when chances arise, they and Manchester City have been very efficient in converting them. In contrast, Liverpool relies on having a higher volume of shots than everyone else, hoping that eventually some will go in stop them from shooting, or at least limit them, and the chances of victory will be much higher. Or, like Atlanta, trust your goalkeeper to have a great game and rely on luck to some extent. Arsenal has shown adaptability. Against Bayern, their ball dominance was exploited, and Bayern struck twice on the counter, but Mikel Arteta made changes to turn things around, and Alexander Zinchenko, Thomas Partey, Gabriel Jesus, and Leandro Trossard contributed to the second-half comeback. Jesus assisted Trossard for the equaliser, Brazilians' movements and passes confused the German defence on several occasions. Meanwhile, Party provided the pass to Bukayo Saka, who many argued should have earned them a penalty. Liverpool doesn't have the same ability to change, and this could be revealing in May. Arsenal certainly hopes so. ChatGPT. The Arsenal wonder kid sends a clear message to Mikel Arteta after training chat with five goals. Arsenal news as Cheeto Obi Martin, 16, dazzles once again for the young Gunners, just months after scoring 10 in a game. Arsenal star Cheeto Obi Martin returned to scoring by netting four times in 45 minutes against West Ham's U18s on Saturday morning. The 16-year-old, who has been playing above his age group, also added more in the second half. His sensational start, which included a hat trick in 26 minutes, 
with only 13 minutes between the first and third goal, raised his tally for the season to 20 goals in just 14 games in the Premier League sub-18, with two assists as well. Already this season, he scored four goals in a game for Denmark U16s in 69 minutes, a hat-trick against Southampton, and another four in 90 minutes against Crystal Palace and Fulham. His last five matches have yielded about 16 goals for the young Gunners. However, Obi Martin hit the mainstream for an even bigger achievement in November. He scored 10 in the massive 14-3 win over Liverpool U16s. At the time, he was still 15 years old. He has also been rewarded for his form, sometimes training with Mikel Arteta's senior team. As Hale ends next academy gem, Obi Martin is ready to follow in the footsteps of Bukeo Saka, Edin Kedia, and Emil Smith Rowe, committing to the club's future. I would like to stay at Arsenal for a long time, he told Danish website Bold.dk. It's a good club, I feel like I'm improving a lot in training. There are many good people and good coaches, so I'm very happy to be there. Maybe I'll have to play permanently in the U21s from next season. There aren't many strikers in the squad, so it will be a good opportunity for me. Arsenal is a club that gives young talents the chance to play. Obi Martin has already played for the U21 national team this year, despite only turning 16 in November 2023. He is a former Copenhagen Academy player. His and his teammates' performance against the Hammers was even more impressive when considering that they are still behind their rivals in the table. They ended the game with a remarkable 8-1 win, with goals from Osman Kamara and Dan Casey adding to Obi Martin's 5. Arsenal is currently in third, 5 points behind West Ham, with a game in hand. Chelsea looks set to win the championship and has a substantial lead at the top, with three games fewer than West Ham and two fewer than Chelsea. Obi Martin seems ready to have a long and successful career ahead, where there will be more chances to win titles. I trained with the senior team six times, so we talked, but it wasn't a big deal, he explained about his experience in the senior team during the 2023-24 campaign. He praises me all the time and says nice things, so it's very cool. Of course, that makes me proud. Ian Wright is also a big fan. Cheeto Obi Martin, he's 15, honestly, he's about 1.80 meters, he looks very fast, said the club legend earlier this season. And if you follow our channel you already know that we are bringing the most exclusive news to the forefront every day, and if you are new here show your support don't be left out and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the latest news from Arsenal, thanks.